Rari Talk, Rari Talk, Rari Talk. I go by the name of Ferrari Simmons. Uh, I, young legends in the building. Meet you. Look in the camera and uh, say your name and tell them where you're from. Hey, y'all already know what it is. Your kid, Michi, so crazy from Washington, D.C. We're in Atlanta, though. Washington, D.C. in the building. What's up, man? What's up, bro? How you doing? Looking rather icy. Damn, I, hey. didn't, I didn't wear none of my jewelry today. Hey, hey, listen. Wow. I, I, I was about to, hey, no. We, 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 I be seeing it. You feel me? Man. I be seeing it. Nah, man. Just, just humble and hungry, bro. All right, so let's talk about Michi. Who is Michi as an artist? Man, first off, from Washington D.C., so from from coming from D.C., bro, is it's a crab in a barrel. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's so hard to come. Why from do I hear? There. Why do I hear that often? Man, I, it ain't like here. You know, where everybody want to help everybody out there. It's like they want to. Everybody want to be on top, and they don't want to help nobody get there. You know what I mean? So is is the collab? Do people collab amongst each other often, or no, not necessarily? Nah, they don't. They okay. don't. They don't collab at all. But it's all good, man. We we gonna we gonna change why? that. I I can't even really explain the why because that ain't my mentality. Now let me ask you a question. Would it be difficult for you? Like, okay, for example, Michi popping. Why wouldn't someone that is also popping say, "Hey, man, let's do a record together"? That doesn't happen. Uh, for one, they don't like when other people outshine them. Okay. You know what I mean? A lot of people want to help people that they know will never pass them. You know what I mean? Will never pass them or won't take the shine from them. You know what I mean? But I'm an R&B dude, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm a sing and dance, you know? So I, I, ain't, I ain't doing what everybody else doing in DMV. It ain't really nobody like me. Pretty much nowhere, to be completely honest. You so, know? Th so then... Your your phone should still be ringing then, cause they love R and B hooks. Oh no, nah, for sure, it's ringing. But it okay, just saying, okay. in, in DC, I'm talking about like the artists, okay, like the okay. shy, like you Dang, got, man. you know what I mean? Okay, okay. You okay. got the artists, you got the artists in DC that uh that always show love, so, but to an extent. Okay, R and B. When did you decide? You know, I want to be an R and B artist. Was you just <sighs> was you I was, young, younger I was young, and started man. singing? Yeah, yeah. First started singing when I was ten years old. And you um, knew that you can sing? You just No, try, not you at all. Tried? I couldn't. I, no, I couldn't. I always sung what girls would say cute. I stuck. I, I stayed in my lane, you okay. know what I mean? I never had the, the ends to actually get vocal lessons, and I didn't know what harmony was. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what none of that was. When I turned 18 and I got into a boy group, Okay. that's when— What was the name of the group? It was called 4EY. 4EY. Yeah, it was called Forever Young. Okay. Uh-huh. We actually, our first single, we came down mm -hmm. here— to mm -hmm. do with uh, Zaytoven, okay. and Zaytoven produced it, and um, it went crazy in the DMV okay. area. It went, it went so crazy. But that's when I learned how to actually really sing, cause I used to rap first. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I used to kind of like Tori. Okay. I used to, I used to rap first, but we got in vocal lessons before okay. we even came out as a group. We was in artist development for a full year, okay. year and a half. Okay. We in vocal lessons. We in media training. We in, we had life coach. Uh, we <laughs> we had uh dance choreography. We we had everything. Okay, you know what I mean. And now I don't see nobody doing that. You blow up now. You you yeah, get they lit now want and you, you just go. They throw you out there. They kind of want you already prepackaged. Yeah. Now you gotta have everything rolling. That uh -huh. artist development gotta already be done. So okay, so now so you're out now. How does the group break up? Does the group break up? Yeah. The, hey. Okay, so the group breaks up. Does everybody go solo, or you just go solo and everybody stops? Or I, I couldn't even tell you what them other guys doing. Oh man, to be honest. So it now you're solo. Yeah, I'm solo though. Uh, I was solo before I got into the group. Okay. we all was. We all right, were right. solo before the group, but we all had signed to a production company, and okay. they were like, you know what? It ain't no groups in the area. We all might want to just, you know, do it together. Seemed like a good idea. And at that time, it really was. And it was super dope. This is when, you know, Miles Behavior was popping. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, we toured with Miles Behavior, Dickie Simmons, Jacob Lattimore, Trevor Jackson. That's when it was all the OMG girls. Yeah. You know, we, we did all of that stuff. So uh, at that time, everything was going good. We got all the girls screaming our name, knocking on the windows, chasing the cars. But at that moment, we like 19 years old. We living our dream. We ain't thinking about money. We ain't thinking about bills. We ain't thinking about nothing because we living our dream at that time, mm -hmm. you know? Not looking at contracts, not doing none of that. We just want to dance, sing, and had a girl scream my name. You know what I yeah. mean? We ain't, we wasn't thinking about nothing else mm -hmm. until we signed with we had signed with E1. Okay. And when we signed with them, we got fat checks. Oh man, over half a million dollars plus. Just just off of one song, which was the Scoot Over song that we did mm -hmm. with uh was they told. Man, the people we were signed to just just 
didn't do their job, man. They okay. were taking the advances and, and using it for outside things, home investing, all type of crazy stuff. And homes foreclosing, they ghosting us, you know what I mean? And we got in bad with the label. And come to find out, when we finally go into the label, they like, we, we haven't even heard no new music from y'all. The person that we was signed to was in there telling, telling them that he got this artist, that artist, that artist. So he's in the meetings for us using our name to promote everybody else on his production company. Wow. So when we go finally get into the label after signing for almost a year, we playing, we in the meeting like, man, y'all heard this song? They like, no, we haven't. Play it. So the whole time we just signed to somebody who wasn't, it, 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 he wasn't really promoting us. He was promoting his whole his whole brand. You know what I mean? Which is which is cool, but just don't use us to do it. But That's he, it. you know, we was taking advantage of. But you know, it's it's always it always come back to us. You know what okay. I mean? Because we didn't look at the contracts. Right. We wasn't on top of the business. When we doing these shows and tours, we wasn't asking. You know what? How much do this bus cost? <laughs> you know what I mean? How much this photo shoot cost? Getting long. How much? We wasn't doing none of that. We just, we got our name on the face on the side of the bus. We thinking, we lit. We lit. We Girls lit. screaming our name. We getting all the girls, hotels, all crazy stuff. We just having fun. Okay, so now, what year is this? That's 2017. Okay. How was 2020 for you? That's the pandemic year. What Man. happened to meet you? Man, 2020 was, uh, was actually the year that I was in my darkest moments. Uh, I was in a full depression. At that moment, I had just went solo. Um, I didn't know what I was f- finna do. I was stuck in contracts. I was stuck in the production company stuck contract. Stuck at home, too, because you and, can't, can't go nowhere. Yep. So at that moment, I'm just thinking, like, what's, what's, what's the purpose for me here? Did you did you get any type of help? Did you go to counseling? Did you do <sighs> well, any man, therapy or I'm anything? I'm going to tell or? you, man, by the grace of, by the grace of God— my brother, he uh, he's in sports. Okay. And he worked with uh, Kyle Kuzma. He he played yeah. for the Wizards yep. now, but yep. um, uh, played for the Lakers then. Uh, yeah, the yep. yep. So at that moment, I literally recorded a video with just literally breaking down, just like basically like my farewell. To be completely honest, just like like suicidal farewell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just just at that moment, I didn't know it was nothing for me. Okay. I couldn't do music. I couldn't. I couldn't do anything. Right, well, right. nobody could do anything. Okay. But at that moment. I was like, it's music or nothing. I don't have a plan B. No okay. plan B. This is it's, it's this plan. This is it. You know what I mean? So when COVID hit, it shut everything down and I couldn't do nothing. I had to look in the mirror and be like, who am I? You know what how, I mean? How did, how did you overcome? I sent the video to my brother, crazy, breaking down. And um, Kuz was like, you know, man, you can come out here to L.A. Come out here. We got a chef out here. Only thing you got So he's is, on the Lakers at this he's particular on the Lakers moment. At this okay, time. got yep. it. Come out here, all you got to do is work out and read. And every time you read, you got to give me a summary of every chapters that you have and read. And Kuzma doesn't know you like that, No, right? no, I knew Kuz he, because okay, of so my brother. Because uh-huh, your brother, okay, got it. When he was it. at Utah, okay, when he, okay, yeah, I knew him the whole time. Okay. But, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not thinking you're going to do this. Right, facts, facts. You, you know what I mean? I'm not thinking nobody's going to do that, do that. So I went, I flew out there to L.A. and literally just read books and work out. You know what I mean, and it put me into a, a a a different mindset. You know what I mean about manifestation. I wrote a I read a book called The Secret, mm-hmm. and it's yep. about manifestation and mm-hmm. controlling your thoughts and how you can change all your narratives just by just by smiling, just by thinking about it. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yep. So that just put me in a whole different light, and I was like, you know what? If on nothing happened, I gotta be happy. Yeah. Period. Point blank. I gotta be happy. Okay, what make me happy? All right, you know what? Family, playing basketball. You know what I mean? Like little things. So Michi Kahu. I don't know if you. I don't know if he was at the last Luda game. <laughs> I don't know if you. He's dropping, last dropping game. buckets. I gave him almost thirty. Ooh. But that's when Qu- Quinn hit the game win on us. Okay. Though. Okay. Quinn hit the game win on us. But but yeah, man, that was a that was a crazy time for me. And um, by the grace of God, I had I had people in my corner that um, a lot of people normally don't have. Mm. You know what I mean? A lot of people go through stuff like that, and that be it for them. You know what I mean? They don't really know how to control that depression or or have nobody that really can help them out. Because it's not just about you saying, "Oh, you should feel better." Right. You could do, 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 you know what I mean? No, you gotta really. It's you gotta manifest that, and you yeah. have to take steps, and it's pro- it's a process. So yeah. I'm asking you that, and I'm glad you you have a testimony that we're talking about this because I'm big on the mental health and things like that because uh, we all go through things, and certain people don't know how to handle it. Yeah. Um. Now, 
you getting your mental together, you out, you on the West Coast. When do we drop some music from there? When did we drop music? <laughs> I had to still get out of contracts first. Oh, so you still in contracts? Man, still in contracts. How do you get out of contracts? Do you let them expire? Or what? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So you, yep. so you just chilling of, until yep. they expire. Exactly. One so of, what year are we at now? Now 2018. Okay. Uh, 28, 2018, and it's actually when I had met Black China too. Okay. And I ended up messing around with her. <laughs> okay. Okay. And okay. that whole thing going crazy. Okay. And uh, <laughs> at that moment, it was like. All right, now and I really. I remember need, this actually. Really, now it's like I, now it's like I really need just some music. I actually <laughs> remember like, I, this. Yeah, so now it's like all right, I really need just some music. You know what I mean? Okay, but okay. I still was in contracts. I remember this. So so I had to wait till uh, one of the E one it expired. You know okay. that one expired. They was they was unresponsive. I sent them. Uh, I sent, my lawyer sent them over stuff. They had to respond. They didn't. You mm. know expire. So once I got out of that, oh man, I came back out here and I uh, I linked up with uh, Troy Taylor. Mm-hmm. I, linked I, know Troy Taylor. Taylor. Yep. I linked up with Troy and um Legendary. Yeah, I linked up with him and we did a song called Like That. Mm-hmm. Man, solo, independent. I didn't know how people was gonna react. You know what I mean? I did that. Next thing you know, in a month, a million views, two months, three million views. Now it's probably at like 15 million views, probably 40, 50 million streams. And at this moment, it's like, God dang, I ain't even know how to really react or That's really how to accept it. You know what I mean? Okay. But um, I did that, and, and we st- started shopping. We started shopping after that. Everybody was like, hold up. This is only one song. Mm-hmm. You, can you what do it you again? Yeah. You, can you do it again? Okay. You know what I mean? This could be just the hype over, you know, everything going on. So I came back. I linked up with uh, A.O. and Keys, mm-hmm. Vito, and we did Want to Be Your Man. Okay. We made Want to Be Your Man. Next thing you know. Five million views. Uh, uh, linked up with J One over Pandora. Um, getting, getting three hundred thousand spins a week, and it's just it's just going nuts. And at that moment now, and I'm like, you know what? Let me understand how these streams work and how you getting paid off these streams now. You know what I mean? Because so I might not need. Yeah. Now I might not need. You know, them knows probably was for a reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because now I'm I'm kind of educated too mentally on how your mind should work too. So now I'm like, you know what? God ain't put he put me there so I can go back get in the lab and do it because yeah. I know he know I want to really be independent and own everything that I do you know what I mean so it put me back in the lab I came out here did the want to be a man that went crazy now I'm understanding the streams yeah and how every million views is some four thousand five thousand dollars you however you know what I mean I'm I like you know down, what yeah. you're educating yourself about yeah, the process I'm like okay cool I'm okay. like I'm like okay cool this did every everything going good now everything going good now now all I need to do is I need to drop a project. Okay. I need to drop a project now. Because everybody see, them songs that I did was like a year apart, though. Okay. A year apart. Because after like that, I started shopping. I kept going around, kept going around. Uh, I was meeting people, trusting in them, thinking that they could do this and do that. They couldn't. You know what I mean? The one thing I should have did was always keep believing in myself. You know what I mean? Because what a lot of, what a lot of artists don't know and don't remember is, it don't matter who you sign to, who say they going to do what. It's your career. You mm-hmm. gotta do everything. Period. If I get a PR, all right, cool. I got the PR. I'm paying her to do that. But if not, I gotta do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I gotta hit this person. Hey, can I come do? Hey, who you? Gotta, hey, hey. I still gotta do all you that. Yeah, put in the lead work. You know what I mean? You still gotta do everything. So that was that was a that was a roadblock for me. But when it clicked, it clicked. When it now, clicked, it clicked. So now moving forward, we're in 2023, brand yeah. new year. Um, yep. You sound very, you sound very uh, polished. You sound strong. You sound, you sound excited. Um, I'm, I'm loving to hear this. I want you to look in that camera. That's your camera, right oh, now. Yeah. This, this camera right here. This one. This one right here. Gotcha. And um, I want you to give them some motivation. Yeah. Talk to the people. Tell them how you feeling, and tell them if they going through something. You know, just give them some motivation. Yeah. Well, listen. Oh, like, say your name first too. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Y'all already know it's your kid. Meet you so crazy. And listen, first off, I want everybody to remember the three H's. Staying humble, staying honest, and staying hungry. With those three, you really cannot go wrong. If you stay an honest person, everybody is going to always, they're going to remember you. They're going to always have a good relationship with you. Stay hungry. You never give up. You can't never give up. It don't matter. You can have 100 no's. I had 100 no's. And you know what? It told me, okay, you know what? You need to do this on your own, you know? And now I'm, I'm prospering, you know? So, uh and just stay humble. Everything you do, you got to stay humble. No matter how big you get. A lot of the artists that, that I've, I've met, the ushers and the, 
the the CBs and the people that's all the way at the top, you notice they are so humble. And 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 it's for a reason. Because they, they want to stay around. You know what I mean? Nobody nobody like an arrogant person, a disrespectful person. So just stay humble, stay honest, and stay hungry. Mm. Rory talk. Ball alert. Ball alert. Ball alert. Ball alert.